This is probably one of the most fair certs that, that I've ever taken. It provides a really good uh, foundation for uh, learning ba the Bash shell, learning what Docker is, learning how to make an API call, some basic Python uh, coding, and being able to parse and, and understand return data. We're renaming this cert, but we're not changing its content. So everything we're talking to you about today, regardless of whether you watch this video and you're preparing for the old DevNet Associate or whether you're seeing this after February 3rd, 2026 and you're preparing for the CCN automation, we're actually not changing the exam. Hello and welcome to this video series on the uh, CCNA automation prep. My name is Francois Kane. I'm the product manager in Learn with Cisco for all the learning associated with automation. And I'm here with my colleague, Quinn. Yeah, hey, friends. Well, I'm Quinn with Learn with Cisco, and I'm a tech advocate here uh, on the team. And and for those who don't know me, uh, I live and breathe all things certs, uh, and especially this one, which is near and dear to my heart because it was something that we helped uh, launch way back when in 2020, before it was called uh, the CCI, CCNA Automation. It was the DevNet Associate. Yeah, so back then in 2020, a whole bunch of DevNet certifications were launched. We had the Associate, the Professional, and then a little, a little bit later, the Expert. And uh, one of the reasons we're here is we're going through a, a big rebranding and a big reboot of this exam series. And now they're going to be called a CCNA automation, CCNP automation, and CCIE automation. And we're here today to talk about the CCNA. This is probably one of the most fair certs that, that I've ever taken. Um, it fits nicely into, even if you don't want to pursue further automation uh, tracks and certifications and specializations, this is, provides a really good uh, foundation for uh, learning ba the Bash shell, learning what Docker is, learning how to make an API call, some basic Python uh, coding, and being able to parse and, and understand return data and get down to the exact pieces of information that you want. This is a, a very well-rounded certification, even if you don't plan on taking the CCNP or CCIE automations. However, um, you know, I would encourage, you know, just based on where I came from with DevNet, um, that this is a, a very valuable certification to have and to pursue in the track. Yeah, I, th I think that's a, a very fair statement. This is a certification that even though it's a CCNA, it's applicable regardless of where you're at in your learning. You could be someone who just has a CCNA today in networking, or you could be a CCIE who wants to get started and show you you, you, you have learned a good amount of foundational skills. This CCNA automation is applicable to you either way. And that's why as part of this whole reboot of the track that we're talking about, we're renaming this cert, but we're not changing its content. So everything we're talking to you about today, regardless of whether you watch this video and you're preparing for the old DevNet Associate or whether you're seeing this after February 3rd, 2026, and you're preparing for the CCN automation, we're actually not changing the exam. So you're going to hear us sometimes use the old name, sometimes the new name. It's the same certification. That's what we're going to be talking about in this series. And throughout the series, we'll be covering each of the different domains in depth, kind of giving you our, our uh, study tips, our exam hacks, things to look out for, things that are important. Uh, and I'm excited to, to bring uh, you along with the journey with me and Francois. Awesome. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started.